the Deputy Minister for Education expressed the importance of including health and hygiene management as an essential component of the school curriculum. To speak about hygiene, for example, in the curriculum of the school, I'm, I'm a teacher by profession and I'm a life skill teacher at a time. And uh, we, we don't work the, our curriculum in isolation. As you observe currently, even with uh, COVID-19, that we are working hand in hand with the Ministry of Health because uh, we have to work together, especially when it comes to hygiene. It's not something new. It is also, you find it also in, within a, uh, our curriculum. And for girls, it is very, very important. The time we are talking about when the girl have a period. So hygiene is very, very important. The way you are treating COVID, you know, we link to hygiene, is how we link hygiene to the time of the period for the, for the girl. Edda Bon, the Deputy Executive Director at the Education Ministry, says that Namibia's school curriculum from the early childhood development phases to senior secondary level encompasses comprehensive and age-appropriate health and hygiene management lessons for all learners. So in every age bracket, there's age-appropriate health and hygiene information included in the uh, curriculum. So it is... Uh, thoroughly integrated as from the very early stages. Um, there is environmental science and health education. So when it comes to hand washing, brushing of teeth and so on with the very little ones already we start off. And we do uh, liaise also with uh, Ministry of Gender Equality, Poverty Eradication and Social Welfare regarding what the ECD children have to learn and then pre-primary, grade one, two, and three. So we work mm -hmm. together, of course, also informed by the Ministry of Health and Social Services, mm -hmm. as our Deputy Minister said. We have an integrated school health policy, and uh, with that school health policy, we have a, a national school health task force, but we also have regional school health task forces. And as we have these national structures and regional structures, they are duplicated again in the circuits and the schools. So the responsibility from, you know, at the ministerial level, our education officers, we have deputy directors here <coughs> from programs and quality assurance, uh, a, a pivotal directorate together with the National Institute for Educational Development, that's where the curriculum is crafted. But even there, stakeholders I are involved. So it is a collaborative effort. And then most of all, it is age appropriate at every level. Health and hygiene is incorporated. And when it comes to, you know, uh, sexual reproduction as well as uh, reproductive health, um, that is also integrated in the curriculum at the appropriate age. According to UNICEF, teaching the girl child about menstruation before she has her first period is the best way to make sure she knows what will happen, explain why she should not be scared, and most importantly, to ensure that she keeps attending school.